One thing that I actually wanted to look at was was this. This is really mean. This kid polarized should have top. He should have come second in this cash cup. It's that simple. He had a beautiful start, first, third, first, second, and then through two games. Should we watch his two throws? Yeah, polarized. Polarized is a is a good player, man. He's one of those guys that I feel like I feel like should be doing better. He just hasn't hasn't ever done better. And like I said, I don't want to take credit beyond get, literally all I've done is given this guy some some form of pretty basic outline of a plan, and that's it. All right. So he doesn't look to refar. I think with the cow. I wonder if he's worried about his health or something. I think with the cow, he probably need to go look to try refarm a little bit more than he's looking for it. Even something as simple as just farming out the walls and shit. Like, he's happy to sit on 70 mats at this stage of the game, which I'm not a huge fan of. Pull zone. But you see that now, now I feel like we, we've wasted quite a lot of time here. Like, I mean, he's, he's on hard dead side, and, and a lot of people are central and towards weeping. That's as you'd expect, because these hills tend to throttle people. You can't get much further past these hills than there. Um, so you'd expect him to be fairly isolated, especially in a solo cash cut, where a lot of people are sort of keying through the first and second zones. I just don't like how he hasn't even tried to look for refarm, and now he's basically forced to try and find a refresh later, when he could have he could have gone out and done this at any point. I feel like coming out to here, because he's got zero wood, coming out here in his cow and then as he's and then like as he's rotating back in picking up a couple more of that brick he's got about 250 brick from memory i just feel like he's wasted so much time there and I'm, I'm a big fan i'm a big fan of wasting time you just say it all the time sitting in bushes like you know baiting chests all that shit i'm i'm a big fan of because it's easy kills and solos but I just, yeah, I feel like all of that was was wasted time. That and now he's basically forced to go for this because he's on. Look at look at his mats there. Fifty wood, two hundred and fifty brick, and three hundred and thirty metal. He's basically forced to go for something here because he can't go into end game with this. It's just even with a cow and even using that you know the crash pad strategy, it's just not enough. He needs to find something to to. To, to top that up a bit so we'll 4x this but he looks you know he's just trying to find something here we obviously know that this game is a huge waste of time uh in the future like like we know that he's going into this and he's gonna basically get flat zero points coming out of it but I, like where's the intent right when when he when he was sitting on on however many mats he was sitting on we know that at this stage if he was doing his proper refarming, if he was actually using his head, he could have gone into this with five, five, three and a half, maybe four, because zone pulled on him repeatedly. He was already in that slurpy area. He just needed to farm up. He, he was hard dead side. He probably didn't have to necessarily worry that much about getting fought. He just needed to to back away from those guys that were fighting by the IO base and and look to refarm. He's now going into here with eighteen builds, and he could have easily been going in with with seven hundred. I'm just so confused. I'm, I'm so confused. And then he rotates late? Like, just for me, it's a series of, of poor decisions. And he can't rotate any earlier that because he doesn't... He's going up a hill, right? So he's pulling... So, so zone's pulled up here. So he's pulling up the hill. He's got no pad. All he's got's the cow. He doesn't really have anything else to, to do. Should have fought for the drop. I'm not even... For me, it's not that. It's it's like his lack of intent to even try to to find some sort of refarm. His intent was entirely wrong. He was trying to find some sort of kill when it was it was essentially just never going to come, right? He's got no wood, and he disengages. He disengages, but the issue is now at this stage, he doesn't disengage to actually try and do anything useful. He needs to disengage, and and like like you said, he needs to go and go try and refarm. Um, he needs to get out over here and, and farm up his his wood <laughs> it's, it's such a simple mistake and then at least when he starts getting pressured later on in the game you know have you ever tried to play um fortnite like when you're on a phone call and you've kind of got you kind of got no idea what's going on you kind of playing like zoned out um and you just you just kind of play on autopilot i feel like that's what he was doing i feel like he was on the phone or he had someone like he distracted by something else and he was just playing without thinking about anything that he was doing just complete autopilot gets a llama okay so he's got absolutely no excuses he's 555 right off rip he's confident fighting this because he's got the got the max mats he knows he knows he's got more mats than this kid he just needs to win the fight i don't need to review that it, i mean that's just him out matting a guy really it's all about his rotation choice and shit from here all right hard south zone 66 alike let, let, let's get some context because this is his last game i always think it's good to get context in last game because we don't know if this is going to be a stacker we don't know like what his thought process is coming into it so i mean jumps in the car cars are so powerful in solos like either ball or car in a in a solo game is so fucking broken 
polarized. So he finished this game at 8.05. So that's big. The, re the reason that's big is because he, he knows he's got so much time. And this can either be a key game or this can be one that you play out for easy placement because with 805 means he probably queued in at 20 minutes too which is generally when people will start trying to w key that's generally where you start to see like some real w key games so this should be some free placement for him so again we got to work we've got to work out how the hell he's going wrong here he obviously puts a huge trust in the in the baller surely minis over cow i can understand both perspectives right um Obviously, I'm a big fan of taking minis there, but I'm also a huge fan of taking the cow because the cow is is so important. Or the cow is is it's not necessarily so important, but it's it might be integral to the way he plays. Maybe it's something he feels like he can't play without. Holding the chug cannon is enough to offset that. The rotations here are anything special. He put himself all the way to south side as you expect from like some sort of you know dead side rotate, and he's putting himself up on a on a um, position of power on dead side again where he doesn't need surge all he's trying to do here all he's trying to do here is just make sure he doesn't get unnecessarily w keyed he's gonna try to get himself center third would be my guess it's just chilling man i want to know how the how the hell he he doesn't do better than a 24 from the scenario is it like another unnecessary throw i feel like this is just he's set up to do so well or close to, as close to max mats as you can be going into a um, a half half at in a solo cash cup. Let's see the half half pull. Half half pulls on everyone. That should be relatively easy for him to rotate. We're just gonna go on the car. Nice and easy. Gets in on edge on axis. I mean, again, like the, the this is this is a better intent from him, right? I think my issue with him with him with the last game was the lack of intent. He didn't even try to to make something happen. He didn't even try to refarm his mats like i said it looked like he was playing while he was on the phone or something max half half pull so his own pulls far why not just use your cow nope doesn't get pumped going for it so i mean there, there is an element there is an element of, of of bad luck there right because there were multiple people in the air like if we take that back he was definitely chosen out of you know multiple people in the air there's 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 genuinely sometimes just nothing you can do about situations you know there's multiple things to look at when you when you look at how if a pad's a good one or not and how many people in the air are, are definitely a, a part of that one thing there though is he's got the cow i'm confused on why he feels like he needs to take a recycled pad instead of just using the cow um especially when you can cancel it manually that sort of thing all right let's see let's see his glide path because glide path have been improved but now we're really getting intricate on it sorry not manually i think it popped automatically because ideally he sort of extends out over this hill and then he drops here and cuts line of sight right here. So for me, I, I really think, I don't feel like he needed to take the the pad. I feel like the, the insistence on taking the pad there was just so unnecessary. Cow easily to front side or, or close to front side, box up, and then wait for the cow to go to go normal again having feeling like he really had to use the pad there putting himself in unnecessary danger yeah seems seems unnecessary and now yeah now he's on whites and now i can see how this happened because before i was completely baffled so i think i think straight away the the, the call goes why not use your pad oh, sorry why not use your cow and he's hit for whites so as soon as you hit for whites generally late game you're going to get pushed and muzz pushes him and finishes him off 